Karen Werner. How to turn adversity into an advantage. How to turn adversity into advantage, Karen Gardner. Contest cheer, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. Have you ever had a dream? Did you ever let adversity steal it? In my opinion, adversity is the friend nobody wants, but you need in order to become the best version of yourself. Has adversity ever visited you? Have you ever been laid off? Have you felt broken? Have you been betrayed? Me too, but not anymore. See, I've discovered a formula to turn adversity into an advantage. And the good news is it will work for you too. This formula includes three keys. Are you ready for key number one? When my boss, who I call Barb, called me into the office, I was surprised to see two human resources representatives. I thought, uh-oh, I must be in trouble. Barb confirmed this when she said, Karen, this is a separation meeting. You have not met our requirements. Therefore, you can either choose to resign or be terminated. I thought, be terminated? What, are they gonna call in Arnold Schwarzenegger? Even though my heart was pounding in my chest, I chuckled. <laughs> I said, when one door closes, another one opens. I realized, oh, they think they are firing me when in reality, they're freeing me. I left the building that day feeling as light as a butterfly. This is key number one. Keep a positive mental attitude, no matter what. Just like the late, great motivational speaker Zig Ziglar said, it's your attitude, not your aptitude that determines your altitude. So the next time you're in adversity, look for the open door. Key number one, keep a positive mental attitude. Let's get into key number two. That same bar told me, Karen, I'm putting you on a performance improvement program, which led to the separation conversation. I was shocked. You know why? Barb and I had met for lunch before she hired me. She told me, Karen, I'm so happy to have you on the team. I'm looking forward to working with you. I'll be there for you every step of the way. But after I was hired, when I saw Barb and I said, hey, Barb, can I get 30 minutes to strategize on those accounts? Barb said, no. So I said, Barb, what about 15 minutes? Barb said, no. Five minutes? What do you think Barb said? Oh, you must know Barb. She said, no. But I didn't blame Barb. I chose to focus on the things that I could control, my attitude, my sales activities, and looking for a new job. You might be thinking, Karen, why are you telling us all of this? Because I have no shame in my game. You know why? There can be no shame unless you blame. This is key number two. Avoid playing the blame game because it will distract you from seeing the open door, the door to step deeper into your destiny. I chose to turn adversity into an advantage by taking responsibility of that situation. As a result, new doors have opened for me, the door of public speaking, the door of spending more quality time with my husband, Tony, and our children and grandchildren, the door of building my dream business. Key number one, keep a positive mental attitude. Key number two, avoid playing the blame game. Let's get into key number three. Hey, you wanna know a secret. Every life event has an expiration date. This means right now you may be going through the fire, but it can't last forever. I like how the old Negro spiritual puts it. I'm so glad 
trouble don't last always. What do you do to lighten up? I work out, I run, and I love to dance. I also do journaling and I practice positive self-talk. Whatever it is that you do to lighten up, keep on doing it because life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. In closing, you can take these three keys, keep a positive mental attitude, avoid playing the blame game and lighten up because this too shall pass. To rise above adversity, to achieve your dreams and goals, and most importantly, to become the best version of yourself. The next time adversity comes knocking at your door, open the door wide. Tell adversity, adversity, come on in. It's so good to see you. What can I get you? Coffee, tea, a crimpet? Because every time you show up, you bring me a gift that helps me to become wiser, stronger, and better. Adversity will do the same thing for you. I leave you with this. Thank you, adversity, for helping us to look within to find the faith and strength to win. Contest chair.